hello everybody uh, today in this article I am going to show you how to use Janiano 101 with blink app uh, already I studied about uh, Janiano board uh, so in the previous article I missed uh, the BLE uh, so I am going to show you how to use a uh, Janiano 101 BLE uh, to work with Android mobile so uh, actually this tutorial is designed for beginners who don't know about programming android development programming uh, so uh, spark fun introduces a good uh, application called blink uh, so you uh, so you don't need uh, to write an android app for connecting to janiano 101 uh, blink app is actually a drag and drop, uh, drag and drop platform uh, to control different things and so in this application in this tutorial I am going to show you uh, how to on an LED using blink uh, using Janiano 101 BLE feature so for this project uh, I need uh, one Janiano 101 uh, one breadboard one 222 ohm resistance one LED and two jumper cables and one mobile phone of course so here I am going to assemble all the sketch uh, already I put it 220 ohm resistance and now I am going to put a LED in breadboard and now this is the ground pin to this point and we are using 0.7 digital pin 7 to connect digital pin I mean digital signal pin to an LED so now this is our complete sketch of hardware uh, in the another section I will show you how to load the blink code into Arduino and in the third uh, I will show you how to install blink app and connect the blink app to BLE uh, uh, to Janiano 101 BLE now we are going to install the blink app go to play store and find the blink this is the blink app already it's installed now this is blink app click on add button here yeah. write the project name Arduino no. 101 and from here you can select your board Arduino 101 and this is authentication token we click down let's copy it uh, this authentication code we need to put in the code that we need to upload into the Arduino 101 board through Arduino IDE. Now I am going to press create button and the project has been created. Now click on add button. Here first of all we need to place BLE. It's already installed. Actually I already use this in my another project okay no problem i can go and remove this after that i have option to use it again now i am here again i checked it now you see it's available to me click on now it's there again now i need a pattern that i used to on and off an LED now button is here ok click on button and give the name LED ok we already used the digital pin 7 you see there are different pins digital analog virtual we will talk about these pins in future but now I need digital pin I selected digital from here and now I am going to use digital pin 7 because I already used digital pin 7 for LED press 
continue okay now here okay button mode to push if you want to change the labels for on and off you can change the names according to your requirements now our setup has been completed now we need to uh, upload the code into arduino 101 board through arduino id and then i will show you how to operate this app to turn on and off an led from this thank you uh, it's a blink website here you can find about the information about blink app uh, blink app is compatible with different boards raspberry pi usb 866 spark and both and different things uh, you can read about spark and blink app on website and about the controls whatever controls are supported by this app so let's get started with this click on this button getting started with this uh, in the previous uh, part i show you how to install a blink app on android if you are unable to download the blink app uh, via play store you can come on this website and click on blink for android or blink for iphone you can click on it and download it but already we completed this process now we need blink library for arduino IED. click on download blink library and that's it Click on it, then release. You can save it. Ah, actually, already I have it, so I don't need for this. You can take it. So, this is Arduino IET. Now, we have a library. On here, you can go manage libraries. Sorry, for managing libraries. Add .zip library. From here, you can select where you downloaded your blank app uh, library. Put and select. After this, the code has been installed. Library has been added. The code now you can see here. Blink. Now come here to blink. Boards Bluetooth, Ethernet, Serial, Wi-Fi. So we need to use PLD and this is the example. You see Arduino 101 PLD. This is the example. You don't need to modify anything from here. You just need to put authentication token that I already showed you in the video. Uh, you need to take this authentication token from your app. So already we have our token inside this. Now, don't add anything else, just we added the authentication token. Now we need to run this code. Our board is now connected. You can see that from 3 4, the board is this. Now we need to upload the code, and now we are just waiting. Now our code is uploaded to the phone you see turn resetting usb to switch back to the runtime mode success calculate executed number of five seconds now i will show you the output now our setup is completed <coughs> and there is a geniano 101 now why we click on blink app but before going to operate this we need to on the bluetooth now bluetooth is on and this is our sketch now click on bluetooth icon and press connect BLE now you see this is blink uh, in the code if you see <coughs> we put it the device name blink press ok now it's connected you see it's connected now we are going to press on this button start now our program is ready see now this is off this is on off on off on this is on this is off now off 
now this is on you see so this is the final output thanks for watching this video please share this video if you like this thanks